What's up, friends, foes, subbies? Here's another quick Nature Boy update. Uh, for those of you who missed it, another member of Carbon Nation, former member of Carbon Nation, decided to come out out of the woodworks and share her experience while she was part of the cult. Her name is BP. Check this out. And then the clip following after is another news report that came out, which is pretty interesting. So please, please stick around, watch it and let me know your thoughts down below. And before I go, I wanted to say shout out to everybody that's coming out. You guys don't understand how deep this is. This is for baby Jaumi at this point. You guys want to save that baby. Think about that poor child. And in the, the clip that comes after this, you're going to see baby Ja. He's back with them. Although they say that it's rumored that he's with um, CPS, he's not. He is not. He's back with the cult members. And if you guys did not see on my um, Instagram, Instagram done deleted it, but Solar was getting head from a transgender woman. And I think it was a transgender woman that Nature Boy claimed as his wife, which was probably an April Fool's joke. Either way, he probably fucked. And Jax and I believe Musa, these men are sick. They are sick. So they're getting head from a transgender while their God is locked up. <laughs> they better not let him out. But anyways, y'all, if you guys did not see those clips, y'all, hit me up on my Instagram and I will send you the pictures. I do not have them without Solar's private parts being blocked, but you'll get the gist when you see them. All right, y'all. Catch you on the next one. Developing tonight, an accused cult leader is in jail facing several charges. His name is Eligio Bishop, but he's known as Nature Boy. According to DeKalb County jail records, he's charged with rape, false imprisonment, and sending ex sexually explicit messages without the consent of the person in the picture. Bishop and the followers of the Carbon Nation cult have a reported history dating back several years. New tonight at 11, a former member is speaking to Paula Suro about the time with the group. And Paula is joining us live from the DeKalb County Jail. Well, Bishop is being held right now. Yeah, Jennifer, you know, Erica Carroll tells me she is glad Bishop is behind bars tonight. She tells me she believes that him being in jail is only going to help open the eyes to the current members of Carbon Nation. What would you call it? A group? A cult? Would you call it a cult? It, 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 I call it a cult now, yes. Yes, I do. A Facebook post convinced Erica Carroll to move from New York to Honduras in 2006 to embark on a life-changing experience, one where she was told she'd be able to build a new community, eat vegan food, and be in touch with nature. It was just in a place in my life where I was just searching for some spiritual truth. The group back then was known as Melanation. Carol says it was led by Eligio Bishop, who went by Nature Boy. She says all nine of them were forced to sleep in tents, use restrooms outside, and attend long meetings to, quote, face your demons. It was a lot of verbal and mental abuse. But after one year, what got her to leave was when she says she witnessed Bishop hit his girlfriend at the time. He slapped her up and punched her a couple of times, and then he told her to go in the, in the, in the tent and, and give him, and give him oral sex. So that was the breaking point for me. But walking away, she realized, was easier than going back home. I had to check myself into a couple of hospitals and get my mind right. I was seeing spirits. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was I was going through a lot and it was all connected to him, though. Carol says since leaving in 2007, the cult now known as Carbon Nation turned more abusive and sexual. She says for some, it wasn't as easy to leave. He has the women fighting each other. He, he's, he's put his hand on the men. Um, he always said that he wanted like a lot of wives, like he won't, you know, 10 wives. He's had a history of charges before his arrest this week. Carol remembers being in Costa Rica when she says he was accused of kidnapping a Canadian woman who was staying with them. Now, Carol tells me she has been in touch with Bishop since leaving the cult in 2007. She tells me she even had a feeling he was going to get arrested soon and texted him just days ago, telling him your days are numbered. Jennifer. Wow, Paula, thank you so much for that update. Like we have said, this investigation into Bishop and this reported cult goes back more than 10 years. For a closer look into what we know, you can look for this story on 11alive.com. Tonight, an accused cult leader denied bond today in DeKalb County as he faces charges of rape and 
false imprisonment, too. Police say Eligio Bishop and his followers that they have taken over a home just outside Decatur. But the allegations against him and his group go far beyond that. We have team coverage tonight, starting with Joe Ripley, live at the DeKalb County Police Department. Yeah, good evening, Jeff and Chiba. And it was earlier today when we saw Eligio Bishop appear before a judge for the first time since being arrested earlier this week at that DeKalb County home on charges of rape, false imprisonment, as well as a host of other charges. Police say they were tipped off from Bishop's social media posts. I'll show you a, a picture of that house now. Police arrested him here at this home in the neighborhood in DeKalb County. I spoke with a member of Carbon Nation. This is the group that uh, Bishop heads. Uh, he calls himself this member Captain Ace. Ace says the group has millions of followers worldwide and focuses on leading a life of principles and morals. Ace says 14 people stay at that home, professing themselves as Bishop's disciples. He has been with the group about four years, says he met Bishop through social media, and tells me Bishop's posts resonated with him. Ace refers to his leader as, quote, God, and denied the allegations he faces calling his leader's arrest one of the most troubling experiences he's ever had. In my mind, he's not locked up. In my mind, I keep the thought frequency that he is free. And because I know that where my attention goes, that's where my reality will support. You see it here the word cult. Um, obviously, in this day and age, you definitely want to do research as to what is going on. That is Patrick Henderson, a father. You can tell just from his comments, he's very disturbed, concerned by these allegations, as well as this group living down the street from him. He says, if you see anything suspicious in your neighborhood, make sure you do your research and report it uh, if it rises to that level of criminality. As for Bishop, he's going to remain in the DeKalb County Jail until Superior Court sets a new court date for him. All right, Joe. And before Bishop's arrest this week, we uncovered the alleged cult leader had a long history of problems with the law, and he has a big following on social media. Investigator Andy Parati joins us now with more. Hey, Shiva, he calls himself Bishop, Nature Boy, Christ. Those are just some of the aliases he's used over the past few years, all linked to his religious group with a history of problems in multiple countries. He thinks he's not locked up, but we are in a state of hell. This is a video of 38-year-old Eligio Bishop posted on his YouTube channel, The Three God TV. It has more than 90,000 subscribers, where he regularly refers to himself as the Messiah and the Christ. I'm the return of Christ. He's lived in Georgia on and off since at least 2006 and is a former licensed barber. For years, social media posts and news reports show he and his followers bounced around South America, including Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Panama, adding content to his prolific social media activity on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Because they keep calling the cops over here, and I'm tired of man. I... We found hundreds of videos and posts, many laced with profanity and rants about the world. Being God is not cool. In 2017, he was accused of keeping a Canadian woman as part of his followers in Costa Rica. Bishop told the Canadian CBC News outlet that the woman was free to leave at any time. Outstanding. He was sentenced to 90 days in jail, and then he and about 20 members of the group were forced out of Hawaii for breaking COVID-19 quarantine in 2020. According to court records, Bishop has been sued twice for failure to pay rent, property damage, and was divorced in 2013. We have much more about this man and his wild history in this story on 11alive.com.